Hey guys, I hope you're well. So today is the start or part one of making an, a two-stroke petrol RC boat. And uh, I'm excited for it. I've got a few things ready already. Uh, I've got the engine, which we'll go into in a bit more detail. It doesn't run, but we're going to go into that. I have the design for the hull. Now, the person that put this online, I'll put the link in the description. The person that designed the hull uh, did like an instruction book. Now, I don't... He put an, a, a, a battery-powered motor in there, and he designed it around that. I, I don't want an instruction to follow everything bit by bit and then just do that on the channel. What I'd rather is... Well, I, I like that for the hull because I have no idea on buoyancy and any of that. So having a tried-and-true design is very useful. But from there on after, how to set the servos up, how to get things in position, where to put this, that, and the other. I don't want an instruction uh, kind of list just to follow i want a journey of discovery i want to have some fun with you guys and bring you along so the first attempt actually this is the second attempt the second attempt of the hull looks like this of this guy's instructions uh, uh, it just didn't look like what he had put up and i i was scratching my head for well that evening i scratched my head and i couldn't figure it out and then i it clicked i did the base of the boat the wrong way around this little bit here, this keel is actually, they're, they're in two parts, right? Well, this corner and this corner and down here and down here, they're the ones that should be touching. And this curvature should be on the top. So we've got an upside down boat. That was my second attempt. First attempt was from paper and it was a disaster. So then I went back with paper, did it the right way around. And that, it doesn't look like anything like a boat in paper. But that is what uh, I'm going to do. And uh, as you can see, the, the curvature is that there. So the plan is then to have to upscale it. Now, I needed to upscale it by roughly 300%. And so instead of being a little battery powered uh, small motor that will drive this little 30 centimetre boat, uh, we're making it about a metre and 30 centimetres. And I had to figure out how to print off that uh, design. It took me about three hours. Finally, someone messaged me because I put an Instagram post out. And he said, this is the website to use. So do that. So we've done it. I think we've got about either 16, 16 pages. 16 pages that make out the design. So we're going to have to get this put onto my uh, plywood board. I've got an engine out there that needs to be repaired. It's a still FS36. And I went to the dump and there was nothing there. And I then got a marketplace and found that motor. And the reason why I want that one is because it's so slim. It's slim and it's slightly long. And it's going to fit in this hull perfectly. Um, but uh, that's that. We've got to, to, So today's plan, we're going to lay this out onto the board. We're going to then cut it out, shape it, and hopefully get the base of the hull sorted. Then from there, uh, now I'm not following this chap's um, design um, perfectly because I want to change the top. It needs to have air cooling and the ex ex excess, access, access for air to come in. So I'm going to change this top section. But uh, yeah, let's get right on with it. Let's go into the other room because we're going to, actually no, we can just do it here. We need to lay these pieces of paper out and stick them down. That's probably the first job. And then once you've done that, we can move on and go from there. I hope you enjoy the video. I wasn't sure whether to bring you along or just to do it myself, but uh, I thought, no, bring you along. Hope you enjoy it and we'll get right into it now. And there we have our RC boat. <laughs> it doesn't look like one, does it? I think actually what we'll do is we're gonna take them all together and then cut out the bits we want and then take those separate bits and put them down. That's the best way of doing it. And now we have to go and cut it. Let's go. Now what I need to do is to put it on the sander and sand it smooth. Right, now we need to do the same on another piece.
get these two together somehow and keep them that way. Right, well, I've used some super glue and, and that will work just fine. Only a tiny amount so I can rip it apart and if it pulls off a tiny bit of plywood, that's okay because it's all this is all gonna be either fiberglass or we're going to use a polyester, well, no, poly, oh, I can't think of the word. Anyway, don't worry. So I'm going to hold this like this on the edge. Oh wait, there's a bit more to go. Yay! Good. Now he's cut out the transom. So all I've done is put the two pieces together and I've cleaned them over with some acetone and now we need to glue on this transom here. Let's start off with, oops, oh dear, disaster from the start. Some up there, I should have cut this probably a bit thinner. Alright, that's there. Now we need some tape actually, where's the tape, here's the tape. So I want to glue this into here like that now how can we hold this maybe with a bit of tape my question is how do we hold it down so at least that's kind of holding it down isn't it that's kind of working and then one in the middle and then Sorry, you have to hold up, bear with me for a second. So that's down there. I might even put a bead of glue along here because that's the right shape now. And that'll give it a bit of extra strength. I'll do a bead of glue on the outside too. That's a hundred. That's going to be more than enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The light's fading now, so we haven't got much time, but that's all right. We'll do our best. Well, we'll start with that. We'll lay this down. Bam. Bam, you guy. Well, we're getting to the end of daylight. That is, uh, that's just on the joins. So this is chopped mat. It's not structural, really. But what it will do is it will give it much more strength than it's currently got, which is a tiny bead of PVA glue. Um, PVA? Yeah, PVA. Um, so as you can see, it's all got this polyester resin going all the way through it. And uh, I'll let that cure up. And then tomorrow I'll do the other side once that's nice and strong. And then... I'll focus on doing the sides. I've got enough wood for the sides for tomorrow. I've got orders to get out in the next couple of days. So uh, that is where we are at the moment. All right. Catch you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed part one.